and welcome to You So You. Uh, this is not a Vlogmas video despite the jumper. Uh, this is my nod to all the uh, Vlogmases that I've been watching recently. It's not a hand knit. Um, if it was, this central panel would be far more centrally positioned and slightly leaning to the left there. But um, as it is nearly the end of term, I thought I'd crack out the Christmas jumpers. Um, as for the last sort of four or five days of term, I tend to go in in full on Christmas gear, including a reindeer dress that I bought for a couple of years ago. I'm hoping to fit that in at some point this year. I've now got three Christmas jumpers, a Christmas t-shirt and a dress. So between them, I should be fully festive for the last few days of term. Uh, just want to pop on quickly to show you through a few things that I've picked up um, for myself alongside the Christmas shopping. Um, Anyway, I'm sitting on my ankles, it's a little bit uncomfortable. There we go, that's better. Um, so yeah, a few purchases that I've made, um, all of which have plans. Um, so <laughs> nothing sort of just been bought on the, oh, it's pretty. There's a little bit of that in there, but I do have things in mind to make from them. So it's, it's not all, all bad. Um, I have made a little bit more progress on my Christmas crafting, mainly on the present for my brother. Uh, so I've shown you a little bit of that, um, but I will say you showing the rest until after it's all complete and been gifted, just in case he doesn't follow the instructions not to watch that bit. Don't want to spoil it completely. Uh, so, moving on, I'm going to start with some fabric that I've got. I'm going to shuffle a little bit closer um, so that I can hold it up and get it in focus, because some of it's got some nice patterny uh, colouring on it. Um, so I'm going to be making myself a hoodie. So one thing that I bought that I'm not going to be using for this project because it doesn't quite work with the fabrics in the way that I thought it would um, is this ribbing. It's very, very white. I could have sworn I ordered cream, but this will come in handy for something else. So I'm not too worried. The pattern I'm looking at using doesn't actually call for using ribbing anyway for the, the waistband and the cuffs. That would be a nice touch. So this is a little bonus. Um, the other fabric that I bought is both fleece back sweatshirting, so it should be nice and cosy. First off, my main fabric is this beautiful kind of mild, purply burgundy-ish um, Lady McElroy. Uh, it's a good weight, if I just hold it that way you can see how thick uh, the fabric is. I've just got my single layer up there for you. Uh, it's got this lovely white fleeciness on the back. And the fabric I've got to go with it is not designer, and it was just a remnant. And um, so that's this one, which has this lovely sort of pink speckly pattern to it. So I'm thinking of using this for uh, contrast inside the hood and for the front panel as well. And I'm looking at using the Stella hoodie pattern from Tilly and the Buttons. If it works out well, I might get some more of the Lady McElroy to make some matching trousers, but my budget didn't quite stretch that far this time round, what with uh, Christmas and birthdays and all sorts in December. It's a busy month in my family. The other acquisitions that I have are uh, knitting related. Um, and on that note, when I was getting out my Christmas jumpers, I actually came across my first ever jumper that I knitted for myself. Um, now, I knitted this way back when I first found Ravelry. Um, I think it might have a cotton blend in, in the yarn, I, I can't totally remember it, but all the details will be on my Ravelry page because I was very good when I first started to discover Ravelry on updating it really, really regularly. I was on it a lot, um, then I went through, through a few years where I wasn't on it very much at all, so there's a bit of a gap in my projects, and now I'm back to putting everything on there again, and I'm, I'm socialising on there a lot more than I was in that sort of intervening period. And sweater here, it's the first sweater I knitted myself, uh, probably around 2010, 2011 maybe way back when I first discovered Ravelry, so all the details are actually on the Ravelry page and on my projects page. And I've laid it over the top of um, my throwback. Now I've kept this sweater because I really like it. Um, it's cabling, I love the shawl collar, it took me, I had to think I had to do this with the shawl collar in two bits because I didn't have long enough needles um, and it's obviously fully cabled so I just thought, eh, never done a sweater before, I'm going to go for it. Um, but as you can see it is considerably smaller than um, my throwback. So, uh, this is not because I was far more svelte-like when I made the sweater. 
No, no. I made the sweater before I worked out how to properly care for my hand knits. So yes, it was probably a size down from the throwback. Uh, but it has also shrunk. The fabric's a lot tighter than it used to be. So I'm going to go and give this a block and see if I can loosen up the fabric at all because I do really like it. Uh, so all the details for that jumper are on, on my project page. So I currently have it blocking and I'm going to see if that works. Uh, if the blocking works, I will wear it. If not, I will send it out to my sister in Bulgaria and we'll see if it fits one of my nieces. Um, I have three nieces, one is 12, the other two are about to turn six. Um, at the moment, the twins are in with a better shout than the 12 year old, I think, just because the current size of this sweater is, is pretty short and I have a feeling that my elder niece will probably prefer something a bit longer, uh, but we'll see. Um, you never know, blocking might fix it or it might make it a better size for the 12 year old. Um, I will keep you updated on how that goes. Um, so moving on to my yarny goodness. Um, you'll remember that I was planning on knitting a jumper for my other half. Um, I showed you the pattern last week, it's an Erica Knight pattern, and I'll insert a picture. Um, the wool has arrived, it is beautifully soft. We've gone with this grey, and it's patterns, it's Merino Extra Fine Aran. So it should be a fairly quick knit. The yarn comes in 50 gram um, balls, it's 85 metres, and it's got this lovely little feature on the ball band. So it's like a second ball band, opposite the one with all the yarn details, with a little slip in it, a little slit for you to slip in the end of, of the yarn, so you can find the end of the yarn without having yarn vomit. What a great little feature. I'm very impressed. It's so simple, so effective, and this is really soft. Um, so with his sensitivity to uh, pure wool, that's going to be great. And um, I've got enough for a full jumper for him. Uh, the other yarny acquisitions I've got are for me, and they are living in my brand new Addy Pose project bag. Name of the uh, maker escapes me at the moment, but I will put it um, on the screen in order to get out. I got it from Etsy. Um, I've also got attached to it this lovely progress keeper which came with some of the goodness that is inside this bag. So I'll show you that in a moment and tell you that's where I'm going to get to the yarn. So the first thing I will show you is the yarn that came with the progress keeper. It's Christmassy. It's properly Christmassy. It is this lovely sock set. From Fairy Realms Yarns. It is Superwash Merino and Nylon 7525. It's obviously finger rate being a sock yarn. Uh, we're looking at about 324 yards, that's 297 metres in the main colourway. And that is called Christmas Tree. Um, and it's got this lovely contrasting mini for the heels and toes. I've never done contrasting heels, toes, and cuffs before. So that will be a nice experience for me. This is beautifully, beautifully soft being a merino. Uh, so that's going to be nice, cosy, comfy, Christmassy socks. And I'm hoping to get my other socks off the needles so I can cast this one on. As I say, that's the uh, dye that sent me the progress keeper. And the other yarny goodness that I've treated myself to is another sock set. This time it is from Pixie Yarns. And this is in her 7525 merino nylon. It's not quite as silky soft as the um, Fairy Realms, but it is still soft nonetheless. This is her one of her Christmas colourways and it's called Snow Day. So we've got the main colour, which is this lovely white speckly goodness, and the blue contrast mini for heels, toes and cuffs. So I'm looking forward to experiencing that um, I've still got all my projects on the go, I haven't finished any of them, still thinking about casting on new stuff. But then why wouldn't I? Um, it's not like I need to get anything done in particular for Christmas or January. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and um, get cracking on my brother's present, which is sort of three quarters of the way done now. Um, obviously I've got presents to wrap, I've got to wrap my secret Santa for work because that's due in on Friday, so I do have a few days. 
Uh, I need to swear at Amazon for not delivering the stuff to my sister's parcel service to send out for Christmas, so I'm now not sure if it's going to actually make it there in time, which is a bit annoying. Um, they keep trying to deliver in the evenings to a commercial address. It's not going to work. Um, and I might even get as far as putting up the Christmas tree, you never know. All, all school work is like, planned and ready to go for the rest of the term. Um, so I've only got about eight days left of term time. Uh, not including the weekend, obviously. Um, including a day where we're taking the entire school to the pantomime. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, 250 kids, all in one go. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and mention me to your friends. I'd, I'd uh, really appreciate you spreading the word. And hop on over to the blog at www.usou.com and you can follow me on Instagram as Zosie Mosey and on Ravelry I'm Zosie M. There is also a Usou group on the uh, Ravelry. I am putting up um, show notes where it's relevant to do so, so mainly for the monthly roundups, um, although I will put links to, to various bits and pieces um, in Ravelry where they come up. So for instance, I'll put a link to the project page down below and on, on the Ravelry group as well for that jumper that I was, was showing you that I knitted years ago and I'm trying to rescue. Um, and I'll put links to the Ravelry shops for those yarns and for that bag and uh, the other the fabrics all from Sherwood's Fabrics so you can easily Google them. So yeah, like and subscribe, uh, hop on over to the blog, follow me on Instagram, stalk me on all the interwebs, um, that's the way it's done these days I believe. And I'll see you next time, hopefully, with some finished objects that I'll be able to show you. Uh, let's see how far we get on my mittens, on my jumper and my socks. The socks are in with the best chance at the moment because I am already on the, the leg. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, bye bye for now.